Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So problem is maximum depth of binary tree. Very simple problem. Uh, you can say like it's basic problem of binary tree. So we'll be given root of binary tree, and we need to determine the maximum depth. So a binary tree's maximum depth is the number of nodes. Along the longest path from root to the farthest leaf node. That is, this is your root node, and this is your farthest leaf nodes, right? These both. So, what is maximum depth? Is the number of nodes between along the root uh, root from root node to the farthest leaf. So, how many nodes are there? One is the root node, then two, then three. So, this three is the maximum depth. So we get three. So I hope you understood the problem. Let's see how we can approach it. So see, in most of the tree problems, now how we visualize a tree? We visualize a tree like this: that we have a root, then we have left sub tree, left, and then we have right sub tree, right sub tree. So what we just need to do is. What we need to do is, uh, we will do recursive call for the left subtree. Whatever is on the left, we will get answer from that, and we will do right recursive call. So we will get answer from that. So here, what we need to find, we need to find the maximum depth, na. So let's say from here, we get depth of the left subtree, the maximum depth in the left subtree. Let's say that is d1. What is d1? D1 is the max depth. In left subtree, whatever left subtree is, the maximum depth in that. So that will the left recursive call will give that result, and similarly right recursive call will give us D2, where D2 is max depth, max depth of the right subtree, maximum depth in right subtree. Right. So that is D2. Now what we need to do? We have to work on root and left and recursive call. We will do. So this is what we usually do in trees. That is what we do work on the root node. We do work on the root node. The left and right is handled by recursion. Left subtree and right subtree, left subtree and right subtree is handled by recursion. Right. So see what we get from left call. We are getting d1 and from right we are getting d2. We need to have the maximum depth, na. So, uh, let's say from here, this this is the left subtree, na. So from here we will get what? Maximum depth here is one only. So from here d1 will come out to be one. And for this right subtree, this is the right subtree. So this is the uh, for this this is the uh, root of the right subtree and this is the leaf node, na. So how many nodes are there? Two. So from here we will get depth as two. Because depth is what? Depth is number of nodes. So these are two nodes, or these. So D2 will be two. Now we need to do work for the root. We need to return the maximum depth in this whole tree. So we, what we will do? See, we will take maximum among these D1 and D2. Whatever is maximum among these, because we need to find the max depth. It could be either in the right or it could be either in the left. So if you see here. Here it's in the right, na. This is the max depth. This is not the max depth. This is the max depth. So what we will do? We will do maximum of D1 and D2. Whatever maximum is from left or right, we will take that. So here D1 is what? One and D2 is two. So we will get two here. Two here. But that is see that is depth still here. We need to take this root node also, na, in consideration because this is also one node. This is also contributing in the depth, na. So this is also one node. So whatever maximum d1, d2 will come among these, we will do plus one. Max depth plus one. Why plus one? One is for this root. This is the uh, one. This is also a level, na. So this will also contribute in depth. So whatever max comes, we will add one in it. One is because of root node. So this will come out to be three. And when we will return three, 
so 3 is the output right so base case what is base case see base case is base case is what base case is smallest smallest valid input whatever smallest valid input is that is your base case so here what could be the case here here we can have empty tree like we are given this root now and that is null root is null means uh, we are given empty tree so there is no node in the tree we are given input uh, only empty tree then the depth of that will be what zero only right so what could be our base case base case is smallest valid input that is that if if we are given empty tree like smallest case could be this only na if root is equal equal to null means there is empty tree just return depth has zero return zero means depth is zero only for that so this is your base case right so i hope you understood the approach what we are doing over here very simple we are making left call from left call we will get d1 so this is a recursive call and that we will pass roots left roots left why roots left because see we need to find whatever maximum depth is there in the this left subtree na so root is this 3 roots left is 9 so we have to find what is the maximum depth in this left subtree so that's why we will pass roots left then secondly we will do right recursive call so recursive call roots right we will pass so what we will do then after that we will just return maximum of max of d1 and d2 so d1 and d2 whatever maximum is among them plus 1 this we will return and base case is if root is null if root is null just return zero because then there is no tree so no depth so this is simple we have to do i hope you understood this let's see the code exactly similar so see this function max depth is given this function maximum depth is given so what we will do is we will check for the base case that if root is null return zero this is the base case then we are making left call and then we are making right call so we will get these and then we will return max d1 comma d2 whatever maximum is among both of these plus 1 because we need to find max depth so we will take maximum either could be the maximum na so that is like this could be also or this could be so we are, we know that this is there na so we will here d2 will be chosen so i hope you understood the problem and the approach let me know in the comments if you have any doubt java code will be in the description and if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video